Mission 12. Yeah, rally for the new republic. So I imagine I'm going to be playing as rebels in this one. Heck yes. That looks seriously broken. That, yeah. <laughs> it's completely scuppered. And towards the end of the mission, they have to abandon that because it, it's pretty much done for. They, yeah. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. And luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zarelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats, but the more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. But the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait. And hope. Righto, so this is the Rebel support ship. And it looks pretty darn interesting, doesn't it? It looks like a giant tuning fork. Heck yes. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what this does. But I could see there that it looks like it puts out some sort of robotic sentry units that shoot things when they get close. How cool is that? Yeah, and it also deploys little mini shields. So you can put out the little robot sentry and stick a shield on it. That's so cool. So yeah, maybe I might like this support ship a little bit more than the Empire support ship for that one little reason. It's got its own little droids on board, which is pretty dang cute, really. So yeah, let's um, let's fly on out and let's see what we've got. Awesome. So this is a bit of a clunky ship. Yeah, <laughs> snap those fingers into place. Awesome. Let's have a quick look around the old ship. Yeah, it's quite spacious. Nobody in my um, co-pilot seat. I suppose that's not a problem. Why have it there then? You know, like maybe they should put in a co-pilot. That would have been quite nice. It probably would have scared the crap out of me, but it could have been quite nice. Right, so here we go. And I'm escorting this little um, Corvette up to this little doohickey. And it sort of like um, links onto it. So you can imagine that they're now boarding into their doors. And then they're going in. Did you like that noise? I don't know why I have to do the effects. Yeah, I could have gone. No. <laughs> we'll just let Star Wars do their own sound effects, shall we? Right, anyway. So there we go. They're going in. They're doing their thing in that little comms tower. And why they're doing that, I can then put my little robot sentries around to sort of protect this Corvette. Because this Corvette does not move throughout this whole mission, really. So I didn't realise that. I thought it might have gone to other comm stations. So I didn't deploy as many as I should have right at the word go. I sort of just sat there waiting for it to go to the next one. Because I saw that there was other comms ball thingies in, in, in close proximity. But no, all you do is you put little droids by those, stick some shields on them. I think there's three of these little comms sort of bl blobs hanging about so just make sure you protect them with some shields and some cannons and stuff then I went back to the actual corvette I stuck some more around there I shot down a few fighters in between and then they send a jamming ship in to so sort of uh, disrupt our signal even further the Empire and you have to sort of head towards that in a bit so there you go comsat 1 comsat 2 and comsat 3 make sure you heavily protect those so stick some shields on them with your support ship and also put some robot sentries around them and then stick shields on your robot sentries as well so yeah it's really nicely heavily protected and hopefully it's going to look after itself and then you can actually take on some of the uh, bombers yourself and some of the actual fighters like I'm doing here. Take that Imperial fighter, heck yes. We've got Imperial Mints over here. Whenever I think of Imperial I always think of Imperial Mints. Anyway take this, you. Yeah you. So that's the big jamming ship and I lost, I, I sort of went to circle round to come back at it. Completely lost it. Yeah. And I couldn't, I, I, even though it's locked on, you can see that it's, it's below me there. And I gained sight of it again, but I lost some vital seconds doing that to the point where I don't get the actual medal for taking out that jamming ship quick enough. You know, it was a prototype, but not the people who built it. You're going to help them escape. How, boss? The temperance's hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it, but don't worry. 
I'll buy you enough time. Project Starhawk, and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Alone? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. So yeah, they've had to ditch the old Starhawk, so it kind of feels like this mission is pretty much now one-sided. I mean, the Empire has taken out the Rebels' top thing. You know, what goes on from here? It's getting a tense story. There's only two episodes left, chums. And yes, I got all medals bar one, and that was just for not getting rid of that jamming vessel quick enough. But there we go. That's pretty much that. Awesome. Goodbye. Well, thank you very much for watching this video, and if you like what you see, please hit a like or a subscribe. And yeah, or you can support my channel through Patreon. Here are all my Patreon backers, banking you Patreon, and I also have YouTube membership. If you want to sign over to YouTube membership, check out my video links in my video description. I also have merch. Grab yourself a fine and dandy pair of socks, a mug or a t-shirt over at my merch store. Or I also have Atlas cards that I sometimes have on my eBay store. Check out my video description. So that is the end. Thank you for watching and please hit a join or a subscribe or just hit one of these tiles on the screen as you see here now. Stay with Captain Steve a bit longer. <laughs>